Welcome back to Modern Salon TV. I'm TJ Hughes. And I'm Trevor Deneen. Last episode, we brought you the sensational celebrity sights of Coachella. Coloring tips and tricks using Redken Chromatics Color. And revealed how Virgin Atlantic hooked up with Bumble and Bumble. This episode, we show you the how-to behind an updo that's fit for a prom queen. And we meet the Newcomer of the Year finalists up for a 2012 North American Hairstyling Award. just do something Mary and you're a five-year wonder and goodbye you're gone but if people feel it's worthwhile mm. not only do they copy but they want to learn how to do it yes so then you open an academy yeah and they're coming from many different countries mm. to me that's what it was all about if someone would say what was the number one thing mm. in essence yeah that you left behind. It was the teaching of others so that they could take your work and take it further. It's spring, and we all know what that means. Bring on the prom queens, bring on the brides. When modern Facebook fan and L'Oreal professional artist Jennifer McDougal posted this image on our Facebook wall, our fans went wild with love. Luckily, Jennifer is not only a talented stylist, she's also an educator. Here's her video demoing the how-to. We're going to take our crepon, which, I mean, is basically a donut, but it's just one piece. And we're going to bring the hair down, and as we're moving it down and twisting, we're pulling the ends out to make sure that all of the ends get covered so you don't see the coupon at all inside. So once you've brought it down right to the base, we're then going to place it where we want it to go. So I just pushed it a little bit forward, turn the ends in, and this one actually has snaps on the end, but if it doesn't have snaps, you can put bobby pins. Okay, so let's get that Infinium 3 out and just mist it over the hair and smooth those flyaways. To create this look, you use two crepons which are basically donuts that are cut in half. Lots of hair extensions. Remember, Maria's hair was quite fine, so to give her all of that hair and to make it look good, we use different tones of hair extensions. Also, we use Kanekalon hair, which is that cheap, inexpensive, two to three dollar uh, stuffing that I used in the hair nets. And we also used a couple of bungees, two ponytails, and just whip, 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 little jewelry. I had a beautiful bracelet just put on the side you could add a necklace, you could add a brooch, you can put whatever you want. But the whole point is to have fun with it and recreate this style and give your model or your client lots of glamour and drama. Real talent will barely ever go unnoticed. And for this, Naha is one to thank. Recently on Facebook, PBA announced the finalists for 2012's North American Hairstyling Awards. Naturally, the work this year is amazing. Here's a look at the Newcomer of the Year category. Valeria Amarova, Salon Pure, Montreal, Quebec. Sal Masseri, Ladies and Gentlemen Salon and Spa, Chicago, Illinois. Ray Hornback, Studio B Salon, Fort Collins, Colorado. Jasmine Gibbs, The Cutting Edge, Brooklyn, New York. 
Nick Helmsley, Lunatic Fringe, Salt Lake City, Utah. Next up, Panico Salon in Ridgewood, New Jersey. It's prom and wedding season, so makeup artist Nerdan Selleck shares some highlighting techniques to help you achieve the perfect polish. I have a model here, her name is Gianna, and I'm gonna show you the highlighting. Um, on Gianna, I already did one side of her cheek with the highlighter. It's really great because it opens up her face, and I use my finger with this. You could have a powder, you could use a brush, but I like to use my finger so I know where to put it. Like right around here you would start. It just opens up her eyes. Reflects the light. From the high point of the cheek to the back of the eye. Now I applied the nude lips for the proms. Um, a lot of girls have been using the nude lips. We already put the nude lips on. And I'm going to do a highlighter on the nude lip. You would just put it in the middle of the lips. And you can see the difference from just being nude or being nude with a little highlight. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, sharing Modern Salon TV is easy. Just click the share icons below. Until next time, here are some of your favorite industry faces. Yeah, man, it's your boy Usher. Now I'm just messing with you. It's Mario McDowell with Brazilian Heat, and you can catch me at Modern Salon TV. Hey, everyone, my name's Martino Cartier. I'm Jill Zarin. And you're watching Modern Salon TV. TV.